What's up, everyone? We are back today. Uh, now we're viewing the season seven premiere, the last of the Arrowverse shows to debut. Uh, can you tell I'm I'm filming this um, close to my Superman and Lois review. Um, we're back. <laughs> it's it's been so long. This is the show that, as of right now, is the longest. And um, I'm only realizing now that I technically lied. The Flash, Flash Supergirl. And DC's Legends of Tomorrow has still yet to premiere, so they will kind of wrap up. But they're also not debuting and for a few more months now. Legends is back May 2nd, while Supergirl, uh, no release date yet. Uh, they're still in the process of filming. So for right now, it's uh, the gang we got is Superman and Lois, Black Lightning, and Batwoman. And um, it just feels good to be back. I mean, it is the longest running show at this point. Of the Arrowverse, it's the show that, for all its ups and downs, still has a close place in my heart. And yeah, it's it's, it's so crazy to think like even um so many months like my fall was is usually marked like I, my falls are usually marked by like when the shows return and especially by Flash. And now to have it not to have it had for it not to be around last fall was just like really weird. And now we're back, and we're just we're getting right back into the middle of things. We're still in the midst of the Mirror Master, even McCulloch art, just because they hadn't finished that from season six. And so we're getting like the last two or three episodes that, um, that were supposed to wrap up season six. So at the very least, I guess that'll be interesting to see if they're like, um, I don't know how it gets branched off into season time, because usually, you know, Flash likes to end on a giant cliffhanger, but like we have to wait a few months, but now we just have to wait like a week for it to be followed up on. So, um, yeah, interesting, interesting stuff. As for this episode, as for season premiere, honestly, it was all right, but I also don't hold it too much against it because, like, again, this was supposed to come, like, in the midst of, like, so much stuff, so it didn't feel like a big reopening, like, you know, still so many plot lines and thread. I was actually kind of amazed, like, um, I actually kind of forgot, like, a few things like in the in few months that's been which is crazy because i usually am pretty on top of these shows like i forgot cisco was like in atlantis or something like such a random side mission for him to go um kind of another instance of like maybe the cast of the show has gotten a little bit too big and could afford for some trimming which might happen for at least a few episodes given what's happened in this in this episode but Beyond that, um, psh, uh, right now we're, this episode was just Joe, Cecile, Chester, Allegra, Barry, and Nash with Iris featuring and of course her mirrored verse subplot. And you know what? It was a bit of a business as usual. Um, Nash was very much the star of this episode. I mean, the episode All is Well, the Ends Well is named after him. Um, few things first about that. I do like the whole, I was, um, like, all right, like, all right in terms of like, how I responded to it. Like, all, I was all right to the idea of, like, him being the vessel of all these wellses. I'll admit there's a few logic gaps in it still. I'm still confused over, like, why Thawne was in him. Like, that should have made no sense given where, like, I don't know, just, like, there's always some, uh, they played around a lot with the rules and logic of like when it's Matt Lester's face and Tom Cavanaugh's face for Thawne. So like that didn't really make sense. And also like HR came back really abruptly. Like he was, I don't think he was, I don't remember him being on the Wells who appeared prior. So like for him to just appear amidst them now, it's kind of like, that's a bit weird. I feel like looking back, like if I were to binge the show all the way through, it'd be a little weird, especially since HR's death was one of the most like impactful moments of flash season three and for for the show to like go at it in that way it just felt a bit for them to just be reintroduced felt one a bit weird and like at this point like any like gaps in story or logic i'm just going to chalk up to crisis like the amount of like recastings for instance like Super superman and lois they recast the general lane and um um morgan edge like who appeared in supergirl previously like they recasted them and i'm like you know it's just the universe getting rebooted but this time around i was kind of like I don't know, I was just like, HR should be dead. <laughs> like, I'm like, it really should make sense for him to be dead. And it feels a bit like they, um, I don't know, that he was just um, there 
because he was one of the main Wellses, and I'm just kind of like, that kind of takes a bit away from his death, I feel like. And, you know, it's, um, I don't know, that's like the one thing that stuck, that stuck out to me. As for the whole, like, Nash could repower the Speed Force, um, I'll see how far it goes. I think, like, if this... Because here's the thing, I feel like it feels a bit weird that like we've waited all this months to see Barry's speed be returned to him and it just fixed like that into Premiere. Granted, they Flash has done that before, like they fixed Flashpoint one episode, you know, he's returned, he got his memories back from the Speed Force in season four, like right, like that's like right at the 30 minute mark and all the way back then. And so I think like it feels a bit weird, a bit abrupt, just like, oh, now that problem is no longer an issue. But like, I feel like Again, this was supposed to be at the end of the season. I feel like it capped off like a lot of things more, and it felt it would have felt more natural. I mean, for instance, like for Nash to like finally give his life for something good. Spoilers, I guess. I mean, everyone not, like you know we always do spoiler reviews on the channel, but like for Nash to go out that way, doing something heroic, really caps off you know the fact that he was like this arrogant jerk and he caused crisis and like you know he had that weight on him. Um, so I feel like you know like it's another it's another type of wells sacrifice um like you know we've seen it before we kind of in some you know a tragic turn for wells we've seen it kind of also in like flash season four when harry was losing his intelligence but like here again it feels different and in some ways it feels final and like that and from what i've researched tom cavanaugh is gonna come back as what i'm hoping is thawne um they're running really close of like overusing thawne like i've still been I've, I've been vibing really well with how they've been using him, but like they, you could tell like they're like running a bit close to the edge there. But like, I do hope he's back as Thawne and not some Wells. I think at this point, you're not going to get a better out clause than all the Wells saying goodbye to Barry. Um, there's just like to bring it back would just nullify that. And again, bringing HR back already like kind of nullified his thing just a tad bit. So it's better to just cap off the Wells character here and I think it would have it would have felt more natural and more of a bigger thing if it was at the end of season six rather than being the season premiere and there's like you know we've been waiting for so long so obviously our expectations were like all over the place but I think for a way to cap off Nash's Nash Wells character and the Wells as a concept I think this was the best way to go also it felt really good just to see the goofier side of the Flash again just like them like for Grant Gustin to start impersonating Tom Cavanaugh, impersonating all these like ridiculous versions of the character. I'm like, you know what? Go for it. I've missed the like the really over the top energy of the that the show can really tap into sometimes. And you know, Grant Gustin's always like Grant Gustin's like the most charming person on earth. So I was like, you know what? If we're we're gonna spend a few minutes him just being like you know do going over the top, then like so be it. I don't mind. I don't mind. Um I just want to also talk about the cast trimming. So let's say, hopefully, I'm assuming Kavanaugh stays off the board for the rest of the remaining like season six episodes. So that's like we got two, three, four more episodes of just like no Tom Kavanaugh, which should be fine, just to help the cast breathe a bit. Um, I'm just like this, like things were kept to a focused pace this episode. It was also missing like three, four members of its core cast. Caitlin's still off the board. Cisco's off the board. This is the first time we've had a premiere without those two. Um, you know, uh, Camilla is technically main cast. I think she's she's off the board as well for right now. And I don't know. I'm just hoping that like, oh yeah. And then like Ralph's still yet to be recasted. Sue Dearborn is still, Sue Dearborn is still around. So I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. It's just make sure uh, the CW always has, I feel like, can be on and off with how they use their characters. I think for right now, Black Lightning is still like the gold standard of like how to properly balance and like place your characters um, amidst the, the rest of the Arrowverse. So I'm just hoping that like the Flash, for instance, just, um, I don't know, keeps it focused. I mean, having Chester and Allegra this time around felt, um, smelled really strongly of they're gonna like be Caitlyn and Cisco's successors which I don't know how I feel about unless they move them to Legends, which I would not be um, upset about if they were to pull something like that. I think that'd be really cool, actually, and would also help it give, you know, 
characters a chance to jump up. I mean, they already did it with Kid Flash. So, I mean, it could work if they like. I would love to see Caitlyn admits the like Sarah Lance and um, McCorry again. I think that'd be hilarious. So I don't know. It just really felt like oh, they're like, could they be priming for a like? Could there be? Could Nash be the only one that's going to be like moving off the board for right now? It's I don't know. It's it's interesting to see and see how that goes. Um, just talking about the other stories. I mean, there wasn't much going on here. Barry got his speed back. All of a sudden, he's got like a his mask is now like speed energy, which I thought was like crazy cool, um, reminiscent of how his costume was in the New Fifty Two reboot. Um, Joe was doing his thing. Cecile, Cecile's always a character I feel like has operated in this weird way of like you could. She's one of the more like extraneous characters but like for me and from what i've like felt from the community nobody actually really like hates her or is like against her and i have to chalk that up just to like danielle nicola being such a charming performer her like her presence always just being like a like not like not always like kind of borderline of that like naive like she's the new person but also like a season like she knows what she's doing type way and she just has a more like she still has that outsider perspective, which allows her to react to things outside of like normal team flash ways. And I don't know, I'm just like, you're always charming. You're always awesome. You're like a supporting character that like really like turned out really well. I, I'm, I really love that. I'm really intrigued by this power set. I feel that's another been another random aspect of the characters her like empathy powers, but like that's never, that's always been functioned in a way that's been either good comedy in my opinion, or like has actually functioned with Putnam. And I'm really intrigued by the fact that now she can like actually play around with emotions. Like, um, I don't know. I think that's really cool. <laughs> I don't know. I, I enjoyed her little subplot with Ro, um, with Top, at the very least. As for all, although also on that point, for Top and Mirror Master, it was a bit of a retcon um, to just scrub off Sam Scudder off like that. And they didn't even like show him. They showed his like, they showed just some random guy getting like shot and like that was like oh sam scott i didn't even realize that was him until it happened um i mean yeah i guess you know one mirror master scrubs off the other and, and i guess that explains how there were two of them with the same powers um i don't know it felt a bit weird and they've never been the most entertaining duo but I would make top top did her top did her job cecile did her job for the episode and you know i i was i was all right with it i was all right so far um as for iris i mean it's just more of it's just more of the mind games between her and eva not much there i kind of i kind of want especially since the presumably the near the season the six stuff is going to be wrapping up soon like i do kind of want to know more about like what eva has in plan like she found out that she's not a real like person essentially and i'm so if that contributes in any way i'm i'm intrigued to see how that goes um i just because like you know she's out now but she doesn't have like you know what does she do then what does she do so um yeah i don't know this was kind of a fairly like one of those weird episodes of like it's kind of filler but it's also stuff like big stuff happened like you know eva discovering she's not real and they're getting speed back and nash dying so um yeah i don't know I don't know it was kind of like a typical flash episode in some cases um it feels good to have the show back um not a particularly sh like not a like immediate like oh my gosh like season premiere but then again it's not it was never meant to be a season premiere it's just the leftover episodes so um here's to when the here's to season six properly ending here's to season seven starting properly in a few weeks glad to have the show back it's it's been a while barry allen so until then, um, I guess I'll catch you guys next time when we get into mid-season uh, mid finale era for all these shows and um, all the other crazy movies and news that's coming up. So peace out until then. Stay safe.